So this is a part, I think, four of our discussion today. So we already ha uh, answer this first example. So let's move on to another example about Kirchhoff's law. So we have a circuit here with a switch S, which is open. So we have to find the currents I1, I2, and I3. So basically, if the switch is open, so there are how many branch here? So we have branch 1 connecting the a composed of 12 volts and 7 ohms. Then we have the branch 3 where the switch is located and also the 4 ohms. And we have the branch 3 where there is a composed of 9 volts at 8 ohms. Now, since the switch is open, of course, uh, the EMF or the source of the electric field, the 12 volts and 9 volts respectively, will of course kanang supply a uh, current to the circuit. However, for this branch kasi, ang switch mangud niya kay open. So, even though there is a current uh, flowing on this branch, uh, as time goes by, the current will equal to zero. What do you mean by that? Because this is not a complete circuit. Okay? Because the switch is literally open and the current cannot pass through to, say, point A. So, uh, before answering this question, I want to uh, just kanang solve this issue. So, what will happen in microscopic sa imuhang between this in this branch? Okay? So, basically, yung... Uh, so, sige na po, basically, no? So, ang imuhang, kung man good, imuhang, uh, so, if I have a wire, okay, composed na, dili siya part of a complete circuit, which is in the case ng katong open ang switch, di mo siya complete circuit. So, what will happen is, there is still a current passed through that current, I uh, passed through that wire. So, we have I, and the electric field is still in that direction. So, meaning that there is a separation of charges, meaning that the positive charges will flow in this direction and the, I mean, the negative charges will flow opposite uh, to the electric field and the positive will flow in the same direction as your electric field. So, sige na siya o kuandiha, sige siya accumulate. So, suppose mauni ang katung uh, tip sa switch. Okay, kaning kaning apart, kaning sa positive. So, sige man siya o ka ng kuandiha, sige accumulate ang mga positive charges until such time that the electric field is equal to zero inside the uh, the along the wire if this uh, if the circuit is not complete because of this uh, relationship so because e is zero then therefore there is no current across this resistor okay well, I, across this wire kasi wala may mo push sa mga positive charges uh, although na ay mo push pero uh, yung accumulation of charges well will kanang thereby kanang sige siya og process nga nga flow of charges so of charges until such time na imong electric field will become zero so that will have uh, that is the event happening inside this uh, branch okay so basically the i3 here since we are in a steady current so the i3 here is basically equal to 0 ampere since the switch is literally open so the switch is actually in uh, in this schematic na symbol okay, that is a schematic symbol for a switch now we have to find i1 and i2 na kay since this one are actually on the same kwa naman wa naman kay current di ba dire? so meaning that your a and b are not junctions anymore for this uh, for this case when the switch is open so basically your i1 and i2 are just equal kay uh, ang current na mapas to di kay equal na maghihapon okay, they are in the series na connection man so we have to, uh, since we cannot use directly the uh, circuit reduction technique for series because there are two sources, so what you're going to do is you have to use the loop rule, okay? So suppose I will just copy this one here in our Microsoft. So I will copy that. And then this will happen. Uh, suppose I, uh, we cannot... Uh, we cannot draw a loop na kani because this is not a complete loop or complete circuit. This is a closed na circuit. Okay, open man yung switch. And also this loop. We cannot use this loop. Kani nga loop is wrong because the switch is open. 
can you put is wrong. So, ang only option na lang nato is katong na sa gawas nga loop. So, suppose ang atong loop is actually clockwise direction. So, we have to uh, find the summation of all voltages. Okay? So, summation of all voltages is equal to zero. So, we have here uh, the current still, again, ang current is already assigned in our example. So, there's no need for you to assign your assumed direction of current. Okay? So, let's just stick with what the problem is assuming. Okay? So, uh, so for 12 volts, it is actually pointing on the positive na terminal. So, we have to say na yung uh, voltage is 12 volts. But for 9 volts, it is negative because it is pointing to the negative terminal. So, negative 9 volts. Then we have then again the 8 ohms which uh, ang na pass through ni nga current is I2. So there in the, the loop is in the same direction as I2. So meaning that yung voltage is just negative 8I2. Then for 7, 7 ohms, still gihapon na I1 is in the same direction as your loop. So we have here minus 7 uh, I1 that is equal to 0. Now, I2 is equal to I1 since uh, the current in this branch is 0. So, we can literally say that I2 is equal to I1. So, then, again, use uh, just use the algebra. So, 12 volts minus 9, 9 volts is equal to 3 volts. Okay, 3 volts. Then, I2 is equal to I1. So, we can add them directly. So, this minus 15. I1 is equal to 0. So, I1 is equal to 3 divided by 15 or just equal to 0 0.2 amperes. Okay, so I will just get the calculator to sure. Me. So, that is 0 0.2 amperes. And since I1 is equal to I2, then we can uh, also say that your I, I1 is equal to I2. Okay, so meaning same lang yung current ang pass through to this uh, circuit. Okay, now the current that we uh, computed is positive. So meaning that our assumed direction of current is correct uh, in the circuit. Ang tinuod yun nga ga flow a direction sa current. Okay, so there's no need for you to conclude something here. So just put that one. So yeah, I think that's it. So you can also find the current if the switch is closed now so meaning that uh this loop is uh this can now be considered as loop and also this one so you have to uh find i1 and i2 and i3 where i3 is not anymore equal to zero okay close naman ang switch and i1 and i2 are not equal anymore because the switch is already closed okay so a and b are considered junctions so that is your assignment i will just uh, post it in our VLE. Okay, so let's just move on to these two examples. Okay, so here find the currents and voltages in each resistors in the circuit shown below. So I just have to uh, use this one. This is a very kind of familiar na. Uh, schematic diagram of a circuit, diba? So, naman ni sa atong laboratory. So, today, we have to calculate the currents of each resistors at saka voltages uh, using uh, Kirchhoff's law theoretically. So, we will not just uh, sum all of the currents na atong gibuhat sa atong laboratory na atong gi, uh, gi ku measure ang current using ammeter at saka voltmeter for, for voltage. So, we have here the value of the resistors and also the voltage assume that the voltage is an ideal source okay so there is no internal resistance okay so we have to find the currents and voltages in each resistors okay so yeah i think i just have to copy this one push ang ibutang dali so para lindot siya lang tawag okay so push ang ibutang sa ubos Okay, so nada. I have this uh, example. So there is assumed current na. So just use this assumed current that is given in the problem. Okay? So ato lang i-assume aning direction is atong loop. 
Okay? So, remember that there are six unknowns. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, and I6 respectively. So, that is our unknown. So, if you are uh, done with finding the currents, then you can find the voltages using the Ohm's law. Okay? So, yeah. I think this is a very long uh, example. So, let's start. So first is you have to uh, find the loops. I mean, list the loops. Ang junctions. Ha. So there are four junctions. Specifically, kani, 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 o kani. So we can let this one as A, junction A, junction B, junction C, at yaga junction D. So we will now relate or we will now get a relationship for currents for those junctions okay so let's start with junction a so for junction a ang isulod kay si i1 so this one so we can say i1 positive yang nigawas kay si i2 si i3 so we have minus i2 minus i3 is equal to 0 and how about junction b so sa junction b ang niga ang isulod kay si i2 ang nigawas kay si i4 o si i5 so minus i4 minus I5 is equal to 0. And for junction C, ang isulod kay si I3 o si I4, so they are both positive. Pero ang nigawas kay si I6. And for junction D, ang isulod kay si I5 o si I6, but ang nigawas kay si I1. So because uh, the branch here are the, have the same uh, current, di ba? So, si I1 ang nagpass through the ani. So, we have actually how many branches? So, we have branch 1, branch 2, branch 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 6 branches. Okay? So, we are done with junctions. Now, let's move on to loops. So, depende na po ninyo ang loops kung unsa yung gusto nga direction. Okay? It's either clockwise ba or counterclockwise. So, based on our circuit, so you can find approximately four loops okay but we can dugang dugang naman we can add more equation for loops if uh dili pa kay mo contento or the number of independent equations is not equal to the number of unknowns okay so we have here uh i can put this clockwise lang for this loop say x a1 and for this loop Clockwise gihapon as 2. And for this loop, say 3. And for this loop, ako siyang gi counterclockwise, ay clockwise, so that is 4. Okay? So let's uh, answer this. Uh, let's find the relationship of voltages for those four loops. So for first loop, so we have. Uh, v sub nat, the source, R1, R2, and R5. So, we can literally uh, say that ang voltage across V sub nat is positive kasi it is pointing positive. We have positive V sub nat. Then, for R1, the voltage across is negative kay same man o ka ng direction imong loop trace o kay imong current. So, that is minus I1, R1. The next is for I2, same gapun, so still minus. And for R5, still the same. So I5, R5 is equal to 0. So how about the second loop? So there are only three resistors. So basically, uh, for I3, so same sila of direction sa iyahang uh, loop. So we have I3, R3, and that is negative. But for R4, they are in opposite direction, so that must be I4, R4. And for the I2 and R2, they are in opposite direction, so positive gihapon. I2, R2 is equal to 0. And how about the third loop? So third loop for natay R4, R6, and R5. So for R4, they are in the same direction, so that the voltage drop or the voltage across resistor is negative. How about for R6? Still negative. How about for R5? 
positive kasi they are in opposite direction. So, plus I5, R5 is equal to 0. How about the fourth loop that we had? So, the fourth loop is na siya upat uh, actually four elements. So, we have the R1, the R3, R6, at saka the voltage source. So, let's just take note that the V sub nut, the loop trace for loop is for V sub nut is positive. So, we can have positive here. Then for I1, in the same direction, so minus siya. For I3, minus siya gihapon. And I6, still minus. Okay, they are in the same direction. Okay, so I think that's the end of our loops. So let's look at the unknown. So uh, we can rewrite our loop 1 to 4 as based on the values at the resistors. So the value of R1 is 1 ohm. So we have V, v sub naught minus I1. And the value of R2 is 2. So basically, kung at unsa yung subscript, maulang to iyahang, uh, iyahang resistor. Okay, so. Actually, this is a very kanang famous na kanang bridge circuit sa physics. Okay, that is why this is very important to tackle put. And this one is I5, R5. So we can write this one as 5, I5 is equal to 0. And the loop 2 is we have negative 3 i3 then we have 4 i4 and then we have 2 i2 is equal to 0 how about loop 3 so loop 3 we have basically negative 4 i4 minus 6 i6 plus 5 i5 and then for the fourth loop we have v sub nut minus r i1 minus 3 i3 minus 6 i6 so you can just follow okay so please look at the equations na to. they are literally six uh, unknown so how can we do this one so we have to make sure we have to eliminate some of the uh, just like what we did sa atong last example diba? we eliminate uh, some unknowns by using the substitution or elimination, it depends on your uh, on your kanang preference or convenience. Okay? Pero, uh, yeah. So, the I5 and I6 can actually be reduced in terms of uh, I4, I3, I1, or I2. So, based on our junctions. So, please look at the junctions. So, we can say that imuhang for junctions B, eh, for junctions B and C, we can rewrite I5 and I6 in terms of I2, I4, I3, I4 respectively. So, para ang atong unknowns, upat na lang. Okay, nanao na to siya pagkuan. So, delete lang niya actually ka ng, uh, so you have to analyze the problem or sa inyong math so dapat inyo siyang i-analyze Okay, there are many ways to solve this problem. So just like there are many ways to kill a chicken. So nana siya nga concept, di ba? So we can say that your for junction B, I5 is equal to I2 minus I4. And then for junction C, your I6 is equal to I3 plus I4. So yeah, that's it. That's the uh, relationship. And then, so we can actually uh, we can now substitute the value of I six and I five to those four equations ng I I five and I six. So for loop one, so we have to substitute I five and I six para ang atong unknowns upat na lang dayon. Okay, I one to I four na nito unknowns. So we have. So I five gani I five is I two minus I four. So for 1, I5 is I2 minus I4. So we can rewrite this one as I1 minus 2 I2 minus 5 times I2 minus I4 is equal to 0. Okay. Then we can simplify this one. 
So we have negative 2i2 minus 5i2 is negative 7i2. So we have v sub naught minus i1 minus 7i2. The negative 5 times negative i4 is positive i4. That is equal to 0. And then what else? So for the second loop is wala man siya ikuan. Wala siya i5 or i6. So we can rewrite lang with so. How about for junction 3? For junction 3, there are na shy i6 and i5. So we can just substitute the value of i6 and i5 in terms of uh, i2, i3, i4. Okay, so we have negative 4 i4. So minus 6, your i6 is equal to i4 plus i3. Okay. Then your plus 5 times i2 minus i4. Then simplify and combine like terms. So we have negative 4i4 minus 6i4 is 10i4. Negative 10i4. Tapos na pa kayo negative 5 degrees. So that is uh, negative 15i4. Okay, next is we have i3. So, wala mang kaya combine na i3. So, that is negative 6 i3. The next is we have negative 5 i4. I, I, a positive 5 i2 is equal to 0. So, we have now three equations. How about for the fourth loop? So, for the fourth loop, we only have i6. So, we have v sub naught minus i1 minus 3 i3 minus 6. And your i6 is equal to i4 plus i3. So we have i4 plus i3. So that is equal to 0. So simplifying, so your 3i3 can be combined to negative 6i3. So that is negative 9i3. So the, our equations is, is v sub naught i1 minus 9i3. Then we have here uh, minus 6i4 is equal to 0. Okay? That's it. That's our four equations if we rewrite I5 and I5, I6 so that we can have four unknowns. Okay, so this is our equation. Ah, okay. Our new equation is this one. Uh, also this one. This one. And this one. So now we can now uh, analyze kung saan to pagkuan. So we have now four equations for four unknowns and this is enough. Okay, to solve this uh, unknowns. So, so first is uh, we can do something for 2 and 3. Okay, so we can find relationship between I3, I4, I2 using 2 and 3. Okay, so suppose gusto na ko kuha ng relationship between I2 and I3. So, okay, so using elimination. So, I, wa I want to eliminate uh, so, na ko si ano. so, mas best if ako na lang uh, i-write ang i2 in terms of i4. So, ako i-eliminate si i3. So, to eliminate this one, we have to multiply this equation 2 by, neg uh, by negative 2 okay, para makancel si negative 6 i3. Okay? So, we have uh, add 2 and 3 so we have here uh, then multiply the 2 multiply 2 by negative 2 so we have here negative 3i3 plus 4i4 then we have plus 2i2 is equal to 0 then you have to multiply by negative 2 and then we will not multiply lang sa uh, the third equation, okay, the loop 3. Then we have plus 5i2 is equal to 0. Then we can now add them. So what's left is we have this becomes uh, positive 6, diba? So positive 6, then minus 6i3 is 0. Then this becomes negative 8. So negative 8 plus negative 15 is negative 23i4. How about for two, for i2? We have negative 4i2 
Tsaka meron tayong 5 ay 2. So that is 5 minus 4 is positive 1. So that is equal to. So we can now find the relationship between I2 and I3. That I2 is equal to 23 times I4. Okay, so natay usa ka relationship na pud. Now, ato na pud ta ni 1 og ni 4. Tanaw na to si 1 og si 4. How can we uh, solve this one? Tanaw si 1 og si 4. So si 1 og si 4, kinaa shay um, I1. They, they have both uh, I1. So how can we eliminate uh, I1? Para ang ako na lang makuha ni si So how can we eliminate this one? So yes, since we are I4 is actually na naman kay I4 in terms of I2, so na naka I2 dali. So ay mo lang problema kasi I1 o si I3. Ah okay, so I1 has a relationship sa imong junction A that your I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Okay, so we can actually uh, now put the equation the loop 1. So, imuang equation 1 na kay V sub nat minus I1. Okay? Then we have minus i1 then minus 7i2 plus 5i4 minus 7i2 plus 5i4 is equal to 0 and then your equation 4 is equal to v sub naught minus i1 still the same and then we have minus 9i3 then minus 6i4 is equal to 0 so is it correct yes Correct. So we have now two equations. So remember that I2 is equal to 23 times I4. So we have to eliminate again some of the some of the unknowns by using this relationship that we had from loop 2 and 3. But we know that I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. So we will use this junction relationship to eliminate I1. Okay, para ang mabili na lang kasi I2 is I3. Okay, so for loop 1, may mo siyang V sub nat minus I2 minus I3 minus 7I2 plus 5. But remember, I4 is, uh, we can use this one to find I4. So I4 is actually equal to I2 divided by 23. So na lang kay duha ka equation. So we can rewrite this one as V sub nat minus 8I2 uh, minus I3 plus 5 over 23I2 is equal to 0. And then simplifying again the I2, so that is equal to guys. So that is negative 8 plus 5 over 23. So, ayos sa ninyo i-decimal na. Mas hindi siya if imusa siyang i-fraction. Uh, <coughs> uh, okay? So, the answer is actually V sub nat minus 179 over 23 I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. Then, remember, V sub nat is 20 volts. So, we can have a relationship as 20 volts is equal to 179 over 23i2 plus i3. So this is our equation 1. Naduha na lang ka-unknowns. So how about for equation 4? So naakay i1 gap punog i4. So just like what we did sa loop 1, so we just replace i1 by i2 plus i3. So for loop 4, so we have here v sub nat minus i2 minus i3. Then minus 9 times I3. Then for I4, that is equal to 6 times I2 divided by 23. And that is equal to 0. And simplifying, we have here V sub naught minus 10I3. 
Then we have here minus 29 over 23 I2 is equal to 0. Then V sub naught is 20 volts, so we can find equation 4 as 20 volts. Then I3 plus 29 over 23 I2. So this is our equation a four and equation one. Okay, so just stick with the loop. Okay, so now we can uh, use elimination to uh, find I two either I two or I three. So mas best if we want to see I two. Okay, mas dalit man i i tangtangon si I three, ba? So we have to add add loop one and loop four. And multiply, so sorry kung doctor kay ako ang, ako ang agi, and multiply 1 by negative 10 to eliminate I3. So we have here 20 volts is equal to 179 over 23 I2 plus I3. So we have to multiply by negative 10. Then 20 volts is equal to 10 I3 plus 29 over 23 I2. So we have to cancel out I3 to add them. So we have negative 200 here. So negative 200 plus 20 that is negative 180 volts. Then this one is with, we have negative 1790 over 23 I2. Then I3 is cancelled out. So plus 29 over 23 I2. So how much is that? So that is equal to negative 180 volts is equal to negative 1761 over 23 I2. Correct. So Okay. Cancel the negative so it becomes positive. Then I2 is actually equal to 23 over 1761 1, times 180 volts. And that is equal to 2.35 amperes. So, na kay I2. So, to find I3, just use either of these equations to find I3. So, I suppose I will use... Suppose I will just use Suppose I will just use this one. Okay, so we have twenty volts uh, equals to ten I three plus twenty nine over twenty three I two and your I two is actually two point thirty five amperes. So we just have to get I3. So what is I3? That is uh, 20 volts minus 29 over 23, 2.35 amperes divided by uh, 10. So how much is that? So I will just uh, use my calculator here. My negative of the answer plus 20 divided by 10. So that is. 1.70 amperes okay so 1.70 amperes so natay i2 i3 so upat na lang ang kulang but remember i2 is equal to 23 over uh, uh, times i4 so we can find i4 that is 2.35 divided by 23 that is equal to 0 0.10 amperes so yeah Mas gamay bidang current dito sa imuhang I4. Okay, so as suggested by your laboratory experiment, diba? mas gamay mo dito na sa uh, middle na resistor. So what else? Hmm, Nanatay I, I4. Nanatay I4. Nanatay I3. Then nanapod tay I2. So how about your I5. 
sama tong i5. Remember, i5 is equal to i2 minus i4. So we can just uh, subtract 2.35 and 0 0.10, iba? So 2.35 minus 0 0.10. So that is equal to 2.25 amperes. Okay, so na natin i5. So 2 to go na lang. So si i1 na lang og si uh, i6. So i1 is actually equal to i2 plus i3. So we have here uh, we have here where's i2? 2.35 amperes plus i3 is 1.70 amperes. So your i1 is equal to 4.06 amperes. Okay? So then your I6, follow na din si I6, di ba? Because I6 is equal to I4 plus I3. So your I4 is 0 0.10 and your I3 is actually equal to, pila to? 1.70 amperes. So how much is that? That is equal to 1.81 here. So, we are done with current. So, using the Ohm's law that V is equal to IR, you can find uh, voltages. Okay? So, V is equal to IR, you can now find the voltages of each resistor. Okay? You can do that as your practice. Okay? So, next one is this circuit. So, this circuit is a lot more... Uh, kanang... This is difficult. Kanang different from our circuits here because we are we have now a capacitor okay so the problem for this circuit is find the currents and voltages in each resistors in the circuit shown below and we also find the charge in the capacitor and we have to find the power dissipated by the resistors and the power delivered by the source assuming that the source are ideal meaning wala siya internal resistance so na natin capacitor so unsa may Kirchhoff's law sa capacitor. So, since we're in a steady state condition for Kirchhoff's law, the capacitor will act as like a uh, open switch. Meaning that for this branch consisting of capacitor, ang iyang current delay is eventually equal to zero because the current will stop on this plate and will end at the uh, will end the current here. So, that is why uh, wala current dili kay di man makapas through to the other uh, element okay so dili siya makaabot sa junction C so there is no current here okay for how many branches are there so we have actually branches so we have one branch one branch one branch saka one branch actually this branch is wala man siya voltage drop dali so basically you can neglect this branch because this is useless okay Wala siya wire o walay, walay circuit element. There's no voltage drop or voltage change in this uh, wire or branch. So basically, uh, we can neglect that uh, branch. So we have uh, how many branches all in all? Four. And the branch here is zero kasi meron tayong capacitor. And the capacitor will act as like an open switch. Okay? So I just wanted to, you to know that the res uh, the capacitors in uh, loop rule kasi ma'am na may siyang voltage drop so of course you have to uh, find the voltage according to the sign convention now sa capacitor nato is actually different from the resistor okay but the capacitor mura ta siya og sa battery ninyo nga kung this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate if in imong loop trace is in the same direction as negative, so what my current di ba diha? So that is irrespective of the current direction. So the voltage of that capacitor is of course negative because the loop is pointing to the negative plate. But for otherwise, if mo if the loop is pointing to the positive plate, then the voltage of that capacitor is positive. So mo lang na iyang loop sign convention sa ito ang capacitor. Okay? So, we can now uh, attack the problem. Attack na ito ang problem. 
So I will just copy this one. Copy, then paste here. Where is paste here? Oh, where is it? Ano man to? Ah, mabili nang uh, hinay ka ayaw ng laptop din. I will just paste it here para makita ninyo. So again, the i5. So na na kay assume direction for each branches. So basically, you just have to stick with what the assume current given by the problem. Okay? So ang ato na lang i-assume is the direction of the loop for each uh, loops. Okay? So it's either clockwise or counterclockwise. So yeah. I think your junction D is not anymore a junction and junction C is again not anymore a junction because there is no current here meaning that your I4 is equal to I1 is equal to I3 kay same naman sila og current di ba dili I meaning kani siya junction gap ni ang junction C kay namdi siya yung other uh, branch dai dili no si I2 so basically si I1, I3 and I4 are the same kasi wala may current diri. Diba? So we can just uh, say that your I1 is equal to I4 is equal to I3 since your I5 is equal to 0 where the capacitor is present. Okay, so the capacitor acts like an open switch in steady state condition. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the koan lang. So now we have to find the relationships sa junction A at saka junction C lang. Okay, because junction D is not anymore a junction because I5 is basically zero. I mean, dili mo siya yung mga junction siya. I mean, di ta makakuha og relationship ba? Okay? okay because uh, I5 is zero naman. So muna akong pasabot, okay? So a junction A, so we have I4. Then I3 and we have I2 for this branch. So, ang nisulod kay si I3. Pero ang nigawas kay si I4 at saka si I2 is equal to 0. And for junction B, a junction C I mean, ang nisulod kay si I1. I1. Pero ang, ni, ang nisulod kay si I1. Ang nisulod kay si I2. Okay, appeal pa man si I2 sa junction here. Pero ang nigawas kay si I3. Ang nisulod po si I5 but basically that is equal to 0 so we can neglect that one. And for junction D, wala data. So junction D, we can actually find that I1 is equal to I4 since I5 is 0. Okay? So that is the overall junction relationship in our problem. Now let's move on to loops. So there are basically four loops, but we have four unknowns lang. Kay I5 is uh, unknown naman siya daan. Okay, so we have I1, I2, I3, and I4. So we just have to get this loop. So this is obviously a loop. This is a loop, and this is a loop. Now remember, even though nag-acting open switch ang ato ang uh, capacitors, naman siya voltage gihapon diri. So uh, we can uh, this loop can be considered a complete loop. Okay? So, ma consider it as loop. And my voltage across uh, the capacitor. So, we have to assume that ang loop D for loop 1 is clockwise. Same also for this loop 2. And same also for loop 3. So, gaya sa ta. Then, we can add more if we want. If dili pa kay enough pag solve sa itong problem. But always remember nga, kung daghan kayo kag equation, girl, I mean, sorry, uh, I mean, ma, malibog na kaon sa gamiton. Sorry about that. Okay? So, I1. So, for I1, for loop 1, so we can provide a relationship between 3 ohms, 2 ohms, the capacitor, the 7 volts at saka 9 volts. But for capacitor, there is no kanang positive and negative here. But you can actually kanang 
uh, you don't know where is the positive and negative plate located but you can uh, actually assume kung asa si positive and negative plate anyway kung ang imong makuha nga voltage is negative then meaning that bali ang imong hang pag-assume sa charges sa plate so i assume nga kaning diri nga plate is the positive and kaning nga plate is the negative so that is why we can now find our uh, loop 1 so loop 1 so your i1 is going in this direction for 3 so meaning they are in opposite direction so therefore we have negative 3 i1 the next is for 2 so there is no uh, current here so this is 0 but for i know for capacitor na shy uh, the loop trace is pointing to the negative plate the assume negative plate then we can put the change of your capacitor is negative then for 7 volts this is negative 7 volts and for 9 volts is positive okay pointing mo siya sa positive okay that is for loop 1 how about for loop 2 so for loop 2 we have 8 volts 7 volts and the capacitor so there's no voltage drop here because this uh, the current here across 2 ohms is zero so yeah so the voltage for 8 volts is negative for 7 volts is positive and for capacitor that is still positive because that is pointing to the positive plate how about for loop 3 so loop 3 ni mo is na akai hmm, na akai na akai 4 ohms ug si 8 volts sila tang duha so for loop 3 we can find uh so i2 ni mo which is the current across 4 ohms so they are in the same direction as loop so negative siya i2 4 and then for 8 volt is positive 8 volt is equal to 0 now diri pa lang dahan na nakai makuha di ba so this one makuha na to nga imuhang voltage across capacitor is uh, 1 volt meaning that the assumed uh, sign of the plates is correct di ba correct na tong pag assign so meaning that correct ni siya e kung negative man guna siya meaning that our plate nagi assume is lahi sila og I mean, bali ilahang uh, signs atong i-assume. Okay, and for this one, makita na ito nga yung I2 mo is actually equal to 2 ampere. Okay, from here. Okay, I don't know. So, basta na lang kapasitor. Okay, so next, remember that your I2 So, based on your relationship here, Okay, si I2 is Okay, si from loop 1 makuha na to si I1, di ba? Kay we with the na naman tay value ni ni voltage across capacitor. So your I1 is actually equal to this is negative 1, negative 7 plus 9 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have here 9 minus 8 is 1, so that is, kung ato siya sa picos, may mong negative, negative, then naman kayo negative 3, so divided by negative 3, so the current is 1 third, but in decimal, that is 0 0.33 amperes, kaya hang current. But your I1, your I1, I4, and I3 are equal, so meaning that I1 is equal to I4, is equal to I3, is equal to 0 0.33 amperes. Um, that's the end. Uh, no. Then you're done. Then you cannot find the voltages of each resistor using our con, Ohm's law, that V is equal to IR. Okay? So the next problem is we have to find the charge in the capacitor. So you, uh, the voltage across the capacitor is 1 volt. So what you're going to do is we know that the capacitance is equal to Q over V. So the capacitance is 5 microfarads. We have 5 microfarad 
then the V is 1 volt, okay? So the Q is actually equal to 5 microcoulomb lang siya. Okay, so then you are done. The charge, uh, the charge stored on the uh, capacitor is 5 microcoulomb. Then the next problem is all about the power dissipated by the resistors at saka power delivered by the source. So power dissipated by the resistors is you just have to use I squared R or VABI. So kato siya. Yung itong on. And the power delivered by the source is actually equal to P is equal to EI because E I means that the source is ideal, meaning the terminal voltage is equal to EMF. Okay, so anyway, let me show you Okay? So we are now in our last example. Okay? So our last example consists of voltmeter at ammeter. So if the resistor, if the resistance of this resistor is 5 ohms, and the EMF is here is 20 volts. We have to find the readings of the ammeter and the voltmeter. Assume that the meter is to be ideal. So, ang pasabot, Anna, that your voltmeter has an infinite resistance and your ammeter has a zero resistance. Okay? So, yeah. We have to find it. We have to find this one. So, the voltmeter is considered as a, like, like a loop. Okay, because a part naman niya siya diri sa ito ang, where uh, part siya itong, part siya sa ito ang circuit ba? So, meaning that this one can be considered as loop together with the voltmeter. This one is considered as a loop together with the voltmeter. And this is also considered as a, loop okay so yeah let's do this so since wala my current between a as uh, among voltage ka infinite main resistance so a and b uh, are junctions but wala tay current na makuha diha okay so meaning that straight learning a current so we still have assumed direction based on the problem so meaning the i2 here is kanilang dili siya musulod dali ang i2 uh, some of the current will not solute solute here kay infinite iman in resistance so wala yung solute current dali so si I3 kay straight lang di ha wala siya hindi siya musulute dali kay infinite iman resistance and si I1 is mo straight lang siya dali so makasulute siya sa ampere di ba kay zero good in resistance of course kay straight lang na siya okay so let's start our uh, session okay so I will just so here uh, we can provide relationships at the junctions E and C lang because A and B are wala may current kung sulod dari so basically walang uh, wala tayo madaw daw aning, kuan, aning junctions A and B so we just can find E the junctions are, so I1 is pointing in that direction. So, ang isulod kasi I1 o sa I3, ang nagawas kasi I2. So, we have I1 plus I3 minus I2 is equal to 0. And for junction C, ang nagawas kasi I1 o si I3. So, si I3 is again going in that direction. And si I1, ang I2 ang isulod. Okay, so we have... I1 plus I3 minus I2. So, same lang yapon sila o uh, So, anyway, they are just the same. So, yeah. Next is we have to find the uh, loops. So, you can find any loops here, but I will just uh, use loops here clockwise, clockwise, and clockwise. So, I can state in loop 1 loop 2 and my loop 3 so for loop 1 we can find a relationship na uh, composed of 2 ohms volt 8 volts so here atong voltmeter is uh, composed of the black and red probe so where the black is the negative 
Tsaka si red is the positive. So, again, just like capacitor, there is no kanang kuan mo. Wala man nga assume kung kinsa ang positive and negative or the uh, red and black probe respectively. So, we can let the high one as the positive and the low one as negative. So, same gihapon na kung asa mo point ang imuhang ang imuhang loop trace is dito ang iyahang voltage. Okay? So, meaning mo na yung signs yung voltage. So, here, ang loop Ang yung voltage across 2 ohms, kay since loop is in the opposite direction as I3, so it is positive, so 2 I3. Then for volt, so for the voltmeter, that is minus V, so that is our unknown. And for the 8 volts, that is positive 8 volts. So itong unknown dali kay si voltmeter, so I can say you know, a Vx. Okay, I will just put Vx. Then for loop 2, composed of EMF, the voltmeter at saka 7 ohms. So the current across 7 ohms is in the opposite direction as your loop. So the voltage is 7 I2. And for voltmeter, that is positive Vx. So we can write as Vx nisha. Then for the EMF, that is minus a uh, positive E. Because it is pointing to the positive terminal equal to zero how about for loop three ay this is loop three diba so sorry ang loop two mga na sa taas so for loop three composed of a meter emf two ohms tsaka benteng isang source na may 12 volts at the resistance r so yeah so the current across 12 volts is negative the current across, uh, the voltage across R is, say, there in the opposite direction. So that is, uh, I1 is in the opposite direction as R. So that is minus I1R. I mean, positive dike, there in opposite direction, man. The next is the EMF pointing to the negative, so minus E. Then for the 2 ohms, the I3 is in the same direction as your loop. So that is minus 2 I3 is equal to 0. Ngano wa man ako gi-appeal si ammeter? Because wala may voltage drop diha because the resistance is 0. Ideal man na siya. So wala mo mo hata mo mo ko andi ang voltage drop. Okay? So yeah, I think that's it. So ang ma ang ma-measure lang ni ampere ay ni ammeter din is actually the I1. Okay, so meaning that the I1 here actually the one that measure ni ammeter okay so mo mo pasok mo sa dili ni ammeter dili so our unknown here is your vx but how can we do this one hmm. Ooh. i don't know i don't know so what is the value of your E at saka R? So si E na to is 20 volts. So E is 20 volts. And si R is si 5 ohms. So E is 20 volts. And your E is 20 volts. R is kanina. So we can actually find... So how to do this one here? So your I1 and I3 based on the junction is equal to I2. Okay, so we can just rewrite I2 as I1 plus I3 here. So for loop 3, 7 times I1 plus I3 based on junction C plus Vx plus epsilon which is 20 volts equal to 0. So we have 7i1 plus 7i3 plus vx plus 20 volts is equal to 0. Next is we have to add 1 and 3 to eliminate vx. Okay, yeah. Add 1 and 2. I3 day, I mean. To eliminate vx. Okay, anon mo na si vx. So we have here. 
2i3 minus bx plus 8 volts. Then we have to add 7i1 plus 7i3 plus bx plus 20 volts. You add na natong duha. So cancel this out. So what's left is we have here. 2i3 plus 7i3 is 9i3, 9i3, then 8 plus 20 is 28 volts, that is equal to 0. So we can use equation 2 uh, by using the systems of linear equation. As you can see here, ang naalang kasi i1 of si i3. So same also for the uh, sa atong equation here. So natay negative 12 volts so this is our equation uh, we have negative 12 volts so this is for loop 2 minus a plus i1r plus i1r which is 5 mr minus 20 this next is Okay. So next is minus 2 I3. So minus 2 I3. Okay, so I don't know what is happening. Okay, so we have 20 minus 2 I3 equal to 0. So negative 12 minus 20 is, uh, we can rewrite this one as 5 I1 minus 2 I3 is equal to 32 volts. And for this one, we have 7 I1 plus 9 I3. So I'll just put 28 on the other side, negative 28 volts. So pila mo na siya. So, to ele on sa matong LM na, gusto mo si I1 or si I3? So, masindot kung si I1 na itong eliminate or si I3. So, to eliminate a I1, we just have to multiply this one by 7. And to multiply this one by negative 5. Para ma-eliminate din sila. Okay? So, this one becomes 35 I1. And we have 14 I3. Then we have here, so 224. Then for this one, okay, negative 35I1 minus 45I3. And for this one, okay, 140. So positive 140. So add this one, so it will eliminate I1. So next is na tie. 14 plus 45 is negative 59 I3. And this one is 364. And divide both sides by negative 59. So your I3 is actually equal to ilang? Six point sixteen or seventeen amperes. Na yung I three, and we can use either of this equation to find I two. So it's either pinakauna or it's it's either kani or kani to find I one. I mean the I two. So si I one katotong ma makuha na to sa ammeter kaya mamunti mo sulod na to ni ammeter diba? so we can use this one uh, kanina lang okay, so we have 5i1 minus 2 your i3 is 6.17 equal to 32 volts so next i1 is actually equal to 32 plus 2 times 6.17 divided by 5 how much is that? 
Kung na lang siyang geek 1. So, kamo na lang bahala o follow ha. So, 32 plus 2 times 6.17 divided by 5. So, that is 8.80. Ah! My God, this must be negative. Okay, sorry. So, negative, this means nga ang ato ang uh, because negative 15 na yun siya, di ba? So, negative meaning that itong i-assume na direction dito sa current is opposite. So, negative siya. So, dapat kung negative ni siya, positive ni, and this becomes Okay, so negative ni siya. So, may mo na siyang positive. So, may mo siyang negative pag abali na yun. Sorry. So, 32 minus 2 times 0.17 5, so that is 3.93 so that is 3.93 ampere so I think more na ang uh, ang ato ang answer okay, more may yung gingon na find the readings of the ammeter and the voltmeter then we are done with the first one so si voltmeter na lang ang sunod so si voltmeter is based on this equation so, equation 1 or loop 1. Okay, we already know what, what is I3. So, we find Vx. Again, we have to assume the negative na value ni I3. Ayos sa siya i mong positive because that will disturb the equality. And your answer will be wrong na dayon. Okay? So, follow lang ni siya. Bahala gubot. Okay? Grabe ka. Ayok ka lag akong laptop. So, we have 2 times negative 6.17 which is the current of I3. Uh, plus 8 volts. So I will just put Vx on the other side. How much is that? 8 minus 2 times 6.17. So that is negative 4.34 volts. So meaning, maatong i-assume nga black o red probe is bali. Okay? So meaning that dapat kanisha ang positive at kani siya ang negative. And for I3 po, dapat ang I3, ito I3, dapat yung I3 is opposite, meaning dito ang tinod na direction sa I3. Okay, so yeah. That's the end of our Kirchhoff's Law. So next, a lecture video is all about the nature and propagation of light at saka Geometric optics. This is our last lesson for this sem. So I hope you do well in your studies. So study hard, okay? So goodbye class.